Welcome back for another episode of the New Motorcycle Riders Podcast. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for more entertaining content. Today we're going to answer an email we received regarding something many of you, many of you have probably already heard. The question was, is everyone out to kill me when I ride my motorcycle? And should I ride like they are? Well, from some of the motorcyclists I see on the road, the question should be, why are you riding like you're trying to kill yourself? I do these podcasts for clarity and to help you get a better perspective when you ride. If I thought there was some motorcycle ninja assassin waiting to kill me on my motorcycle every time I took it out, I wouldn't even be riding my motorcycle. I mean, I don't have a death wish, do you? I presume then that these same motorists are out to kill telephone poles, buildings, other cars, tractor trailers, or anything else that gets in their way because they do a pretty good job at hitting them too. Sometimes I think people just like to make up these catchy phrases like motorcyclists are always the innocent party. See, when I ride, no one is more responsible for my safety than me. That's my attitude, and it probably should be yours. Every day it seems we are seeing some random act of violence in the news where someone is getting killed by someone else. They could have been at home, going to the grocery store, driving, sitting in the park, going to school, driving their car. You get the picture. Yet it still happens and no one is stopping these activities because of it. That's where you as a motorcyclist are at luck. I haven't heard of anyone getting into their car with the objective of killing a motorcycle unless they specifically wanted to kill that person and they just so happened to be riding a motorcycle. In that case, if they were going to kill that person, they would have done it if they were on a skateboard. You see where I'm going with this? They're called motorcycle accidents for a reason. Now the reason for why the accident happened is where the debate begins. But do I think people wake up in the morning with the intent to kill someone on a motorcycle? No. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the term cagers. I don't particularly like it. It's a term to describe someone operating a four-wheel motor vehicle. It's strange how we hear motorcyclists use this term like they never operate a motor vehicle. Most people get their license to drive a car before they receive their motorcycle license, so why do they have so much hate for car drivers? We don't know the origin of the saying, but it was probably made up by some irresponsible biker that got into an accident with a car and blamed the accident for their negligence. According to the National Highway Traffic Traffic Safety Administration, 72 out of every 100,000 motorcycle riders will experience a crash, which is 0.07% of bikers. As you see, the number is low. What we believe makes it seem worse than what it really is is People are counting every tip over at the light or someone falling over in the driveway as is being looked at as an accident when it's not. It is just a driver's error. Now, I don't care how long you have been riding. You still can make a rookie mistake or fall over. It's not the end of the world. I've known people to fall over multiple times in one day and still get back up and ride. You know, it just happens. It's just one of those things. No, can an accident happen and the motorcyclist be totally in the right? Yes. But it wasn't because the motorist was out to kill them unless it was a domestic or road rage incident which sparked the occurrence. But road rage is a topic for another episode. So being a better, more conscious rider can greatly reduce your odds of getting into a motorcycle wreck with your motorcycle. Never ride with the mindset that you are in the right because being right isn't worth being hurt. We want to thank you for tuning in again and listening to our podcast. If you have something to add, please leave us a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates and episodes of the New Motorcycle Riders podcast. Stay safe and keep the rubber side down.